What's up America, Tony from The Real American Outdoors here and today we're going to be talking about my favorite hollow body frogs. So here's my hollow body frog box. Um, I really like fishing hollow body frogs in the summertime with the vegetation and all that uh, grass and algae on the top of the water, especially during the summertime when it's really, really hot out. Um, I throw a bunch of different brands and I'll go into which ones are my favorite. And there's a few different styles of hollow body frogs which I throw. So first we'll start with more of the traditional uh, look and size. Um, I have a few different brands here. Um, these two right here, these are Ish's Fat Frog um, and his brand and his colors. Uh, I really like the dark colors that his his line offers. This is the Bass Pro Kermi, uh, kind of a nice natural yellow and green frog color. And then uh, here's another Kermi, same color. And then my favorite brand of these is the Booyah Pad Crashers and I have numerous different colors. This is kind of a shad color that I like throwing just in case there's a lot of schooling bait fish on top of the water that you can see and they're hitting top water. I'll usually throw that by the weed lines. Also another Booyah Pad Crasher in kind of this yellow and green color as well. And then also have the Boy Ducket color of frog here too. Usually I throw the Booyahs. Usually I find that they uh, don't let a lot of water seep in compared to other uh, brands and also uh, I really like their price point. Hard to beat the price point on these. Usually a few bucks cheaper than the rest. So if you're really on the budget, um, uh, one brand you could use is the Ozark Trail which is the Walmart House brand. If you watch our original Mississippi River vlog back from 2019, uh, this was actually the color of frog and the style of frog that actually caught the most fish compared to these Booyahs. Even though you will see some in that video that we did catch them on. But these are going about two bucks a piece versus the rest of these are going about six to ten bucks a piece. So if you really want to save some money, go ahead and try these Ozark Trail ones. If not, go ahead and feel free to try the more name brand. All right, next here we have the Scum Frogs, which uh, Scum Frogs, it's a unique frog style. It has the, the traditional uh, elastic uh, append bands and appendages on the back here. But it kind of has this more small, compact style. And it kind of has this little rigid bend with traditional hooks in the back. Definitely smaller, more old school, but they still do catch fish. Um, I don't really use them because I like the bigger profiles. But, you know, Scum Frogs is another name brand out there as well. Moving on to the more poppin' style frogs. This is the Booyah Poppin' Pad Crasher. So you can see it kind of has this red here with the more popper style uh, presentation. Again, I like using the greens and yellows, shad color on top, and then kind of more of the darker colors. Um, as well um, just to change it up there so here I kind of have this all black and blue one and here's kind of this black and yellow uh, another a good combination just you know the, the fish will tell you what color they're wanting and what they're hitting but I usually like this it provides more of an action uh, you know bringing it back to the boat as opposed to the standard you know more of the gliding type uh, for the traditional uh, hollow bodies. So uh, pop, pop and pad crasher is definitely another one I throw just to change it up and displace more water. Lastly we're going to go into my favorite style of topwater frogs and that is this Booyah Toad Runner. Um, what's unique about the Toad Runner is it's kind of you kind of got the best of a frog and the best of your standard topwater. So you have your standard topwater hollow body frog and on the back it's kind of this elastic paddle tail here as you can see and when it goes in the water it kind of displaces water like a, almost a wake bait style in the back. It goes over the weeds really well. Um, this is my favorite style of, of uh, top water to frog to throw. Um, they also make it in this junior size as well. So I find that sometimes if you're using this bigger size that uh, they'll sometimes swipe at the tail. So usually what I'll do is I'll switch if I'm missing uh, hookups, I'll switch to the smaller profile so they can more easily grab those hooks as opposed to these bigger ones here. But these will all work and these will all catch fish. And so uh, these are a little more expensive and usually they come with an extra uh, soft plastic uh, tail on the back. Um, but I find these in terms of hookups and you know aggressiveness to attacking the frogs, these are the best. You can also use them on ease, more easier on uh, open water compared to the rest of these where this is more uh, just casting and retrieving. So um, 
try a Booyah Toad Runner, but any of these options of frogs would work. These are just my favorites. You know, I like the traditional green and yellow, the black, and then the occasional uh, shad color if they're hitting more of the bait fish on top water at night. But there's plenty of different brands out there. You don't necessarily have to be brand loyal. I really like the Booyahs the best as opposed to, you know, the Spros or the KVDs or something like that. Um, so thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, check us out for a new video every Tuesday and Saturday. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.